Hey everyone, I'm Jason Roberts. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple and easy five step process to color grade S Log 3 footage. Let's go. We're going to jump into Premiere Pro in just a minute, just give you a quick overview of what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to use Lumetri Color to apply the color grading effects and we're going to actually use multiple instances of Lumetri, we're going to use them for different purposes. This will form a chain of processing for color correction and color grading and it'll help you to organize what should go where. So let's head into Premiere Pro now and we'll have a look at this first clip. So here's a clip I recorded in the studio, the first thing we're going to do is in the effects here, we're going to search for Lumetri Color and we're going to drag a Lumetri Color instance onto the clip here. And we can see it in the effects. I'm going to right click and rename and call this first Lumetri Color instance pre-CST. I'm going to go and add a second Lumetri Color instance here. Once again right click and rename, call that one CST. Add a third instance, call this one post CST. I'll explain what these are going to be in just a minute. We'll add a fourth Lumetri Color instance called Grade and finally a fifth instance and we'll call this Sharpen. Just going to expand the program window a bit more so you can see it a bit better here. And we're already in the color workspace and you can see in the Lumetri color panel here we've got all of our Lumetri instances. So this first pre-CST Lumetri instance is going to be used for correcting any exposure differences before applying the official Sony LUT. This version of the clip was shot with zebras at 41% on this middle grey section here. So this is about the correct exposure for the LUT. In the second Lumetri color instance here we're going to apply the official Sony LUT. You can find this official Sony alert at the Sony website here and I'll put a link in the description so you can find it easily. What you need to do is come down to Sony LUTs, click on download Sony look profiles and click download here. Once it's downloaded you'll get this folder which contains these four LUT files. These first two will convert S-Log3, s Gamut 3 Cine into Rec 709. Notice that these have got the LC in the file name. This stands for low contrast, so we'll have to add some contrast back in after applying the LUT. So once you've downloaded this LUT, make sure you're in the CST Lumetri instance. And in the basic correction input LUT here, just use Browse. And select this s Gamut 3 Cine S-Log3 to LC709 LUT, open that and you can see straight away the image is looking a lot better. That's because we exposed it correctly in the first place. If I go and add the crop effect to this clip and I'll just adjust it until we can see these three exposure bars. And if we come over to the Lumetri scopes, you can see this middle bar is roughly at 41% here. And that's the correct exposure for S-Log3, or at least the correct exposure for the official Sony LUT. Just going to disable the crop effect. So once we've applied the official Sony LUT, remember that we did that in the CST Lumetri instance. We can now move to this post CST Lumetri instance. Here we're going to add some contrast back into the image. We're going to tweak the exposure if we want to, and we're also going to perform any color correction that we need to do. So let's start off with adding some contrast back in. I'm gonna set this probably somewhere around 26. This is a matter of personal taste. We can also go and correct any exposure. If I re-enable this crop and head back to Lumetri scopes, for this color checker card, we want middle gray about 41%. We want this white strip to be somewhere around 90 and we want this black strip here to be somewhere in the 0 to 10% range. So for example what we could do in this post CST Lumetri instance, we could modify the exposure. Just going to do this very quickly. So we could bring up the whites here if we wanted to. That's also going to raise middle grey a bit though. Or we could use the curves here to do the same kind of thing. I'm not going to spend too much time on that and if we undo the crop and toggle this off and on. Or we'll toggle the entire post CST Lumetri instance. You can see the difference in exposure there. We can also use this post CST section to do any color correction. I'm going to re-enable the crop and I'm going to change it so we can see these color chips. And if we head back to Lumetri scopes, I'm going to enable the vector scope YUV. So because we've got the color checker, we know roughly where these things should be. These lines should point towards their respective colors and they should all be about 50% between the middle and this box here. You can see that red might be skewed a little bit, you can see that magenta here might be skewed a little bit, blue's looking okay, green's looking maybe a bit skewed and cyan's looking okay too. So we can use the hue saturation curves and the hue versus hue curves to make any changes for colour correction. What I'm going to do is put points in at each of these intersections here and also in the hue versus hue section here. 
So let's start off with the red. I'm going to hold down shift and move this red point up and down. Holding down shift just makes it move vertically up and down and it won't accidentally go left or right. And you can see if we increase the exposure, red is shifting a little bit to the left. We can do the same thing in the hue versus hue, once again holding shift and we can adjust where that red line fits. We also want to make sure that it's about halfway between the center point, which is probably somewhere about there. Let's do the same thing for magenta. I'm going to increase the saturation. And you can see that it's traveling a bit to the left of this box. You can use the hue versus hue just to bring it back in line and then bring this down to about halfway between the middle and the box. If we have a look at the blue, I'm just gonna increase the saturation. This is traveling fairly well. So we'll just try and get it about halfway across and we might need to just very subtly tweak it, something like that. Cyan is looking like it's lining up quite nicely, hitting the box bang on. So we'll adjust it so it's about halfway between the middle and the box. Next, have a look at green. This is traveling a little bit to the left of the box. So we'll just bring that around a little bit and just check it with the hue here about halfway. Maybe just tweak it a little bit more. The cyan looks like it's a little bit too far out. So we'll just bring that in a little bit to about 50%. And we'll also adjust the hue down here just so it lines up a little bit better. Just gonna increase the saturation so it can line it up a bit better and bring it down to about halfway between the center and the box. Let's come back to the effect controls and disable the crop. And I'll just toggle off and on this curve section. And I'm actually going to just tweak this tiny bit there. And now in this post CST Lumetri color instance, we've added some contrast, we've tweaked the exposure and we've performed color correction. There's a couple more Lumetri color instances here. The next one in the chain is this grade. This is going to allow us to perform any artistic grading that we like. And this final one is going to add some sharpening. So we want to add sharpening at the last point in the chain. So you can play with what amount of sharpening you like. I'm typically at the minute applying about 15 to S-Log3 footage. So in this grade section, we can pretty much go crazy if we want to. We could use one of these creative LUTs built into Lumetri Color. We could add some saturation or remove some saturation, add a vignette and any other creative artistic changes that you want to make. In this second clip, I've actually overexposed this S-Log. Once again, check out my S-Log3 exposure video for more information about this. Basically, I've exposed this gray bit here at 55% zebras. What I'm going to do is right click this first clip and choose copy and come down to the second clip and choose paste attributes. We're gonna make sure all of the Lumetri instances are checked and also the crop and we'll just apply that. What I'm going to do is leave the sharpening as it is. I'm going to reset the grade instance going to reset the post CST instance. Gonna leave the CST as it is. This is where we've applied the Sony LUT, but we're gonna actually use this pre CST instance now to reduce the exposure before it hits the LUT. Let's start off by turning off the LUT, just disable this Lumetri instance, come back to pre CST, and once again, we'll make use of the Lumetri Luma waveform. To make this a bit easier, once again, we'll use the crop, and notice this time, middle gray is not at 41%. It's kind of almost at 55%, which is the zebras that I set. So what we need to do is we need to bring this middle gray exposure down to about 41% before we apply the LUT in the next part of the chain. To do this, I'm just going to use the exposure here and bring this down to about 41%. Come back to effect controls, turn off the crop and come back to the CST instance and re-enable the LUT transform. We can now continue with the same steps we did before. We can add some contrast, perform any color correction and any exposure tweaks. To save time, I'm not gonna bother color correcting this footage. And then in the grade, we can apply some kind of creative style if we want to. For example, we could add some faded film effect here, increase the vibrance, it looks pretty horrible. And then once again, the final step is this sharpening, which is set at 15 at the minute. One of the other things this pre-CST instance is for is to set the white balance if you need to. The final clip we're going to look at is this outdoor clip. Once again, I'm going to right click, choose paste attributes, paste all the Lumetri effects and the crop. Olive sharpening enabled, I'm going to disable the grade, disable post CST. We'll leave the color space transform active and we can also make some changes in this pre CST. So for example, we could change the white balance here. I could try doing this by clicking the eyedropper or I could do it by eye, something like that. Then in the post CST, once again, post CST, we could add some contrast. In the grade section here, just reset that. We can do something creative. 
So I'm going to go and add some saturation in. But notice I can't pull down the highlights here in the sky. What I could do is come back to the pre-CSD transform and drop the highlights here. And that just offers you a different approach. Once again, this grade section is for more artistic or creative choices. So we could do something like this. So that's a five step process to color grading S-Log3 footage. Start off with this pre-CST Lumetri instance. In here, do white balancing and any exposure correction, such as bringing middle gray down to 41 IRE. In the CST Lumetri color instance, just apply the official Sony LUT. In the post CST Lumetri color instance, once the LUT's applied, you can add some contrast, tweak the exposure and perform any color correction. And now you've got correctly exposed and color corrected footage. In the grade instance here, you can go to town and get artistic. And the final step is to sharpen the footage. So I hope you found that video useful. If you want to support the channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you find out about future videos. And also if you found this video useful, please click the like button, that really helps the channel. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, leave a comment below. See ya.